happy to have her back in Minnesota, Ms. Tammy West. It's time for a mental health and stress revolution. And in 1995, I was in a psychiatric institution with major anxiety disorder, panic disorder, PTSD, and depression. So welcome to the conference. I'm so happy you're here. I never want to be flip about mental illness. I simply want to surprise and to help people see things differently. We have like the same reaction to losing our keys as we do losing our loved one because we lump it all under this word stress. And I'm telling you now, it takes our power away. And I remember going into that hospital room and I remember the nurse coming in and going through my bag and taking everything out of it that she thought that I might use to hurt myself. So it wasn't a flip funny experience, but it was the best day of my life because I'm never going back there again. I love when participants laugh. They leave their pain outside the conference doors. So you know how you, you get up to go to the bathroom, but you don't want to wake up, so you kind of like try to keep your eyes closed? So this one particular night, that's what I did. And so I'm sitting, right? I've kind of got my eyes closed, and suddenly I sense a presence. <laughs> and I open my eyes, and my husband was there with his eyes closed. In position! He's in position! I screamed, he screamed. That's when we got a nightlight. That's what it took, that's what it took to get a nightlight. And so we were talking about this story one day about what it takes to change. And he goes, you know what? I didn't know the person that you were before. What is it that made you decide to change? And I was like, oh my gosh, did I decide to change? I was like, maybe I did. Virtual has certainly been a new world. You know, cats running in your background. I am very grateful that I have been able to reach even more people through this medium. In the chat box, if you want, tell me a couple things that have been going on in your COVID world. And, and I'll look at them in just a minute, but I'm a little bit dramatic. So I made a scroll. Number three, my husband got furloughed from his full-time traveling sales job. So he was then home 24 seven. Okay, come closer. Let me say that again, 24 seven. The mental health conversation has certainly moved forward, but we still have a ways to go. The way that you take care of your mental health is your choice. Don't let the world tell you that you are supposed to be stressed, that you are supposed to have no time, that you are not supposed to be happy, that you are supposed to be perfect. 90% of Americans believe we are in a mental health crisis. 20% are currently experiencing a mental illness, everything from anxiety and depression to bipolar disorder. Companies all over the world have brought me in to help employees not only improve their mental well being, but also how to help coworkers and family with their mental health challenges. That is my passion. I'm not asking you to diagnose someone in the workplace or at home or a friend because you can't. I'm not asking you to fix it because you shouldn't. What I am asking is for you to think about things differently, for you to notice, for you to ask questions of yourself about how you feel about mental illness, mental health, mental wellness. Standing ovations and applause and comments are wonderful, of course. But the real thing is, does each person walk out with something that can help make their lives better? And that's what it's all about.